your CBS 47 Pinpoint Weather Forecast. I'm CBS 47 meteorologist Justin Sacher live in the Pinpoint Weather Center with this update on the dangerous fire weather we have throughout California and right here in Central California right now. We're going to take you to this chart which shows the very latest weather alerts. We are talking about a high wind warning in gold, a red flag warning or fire weather warning underneath all that gold and outside of it as well. That lasts until 2 in the morning, the high wind warning until 1 in the morning, and it is getting windier moment by moment in these areas of the foothills and in the mountains of the Sierra. Taking a look, there are power shutoffs. Public safety power shutoffs are affecting our area in Madera County and in Mariposa County, down in Kern County as well. And the PG&E power outage actually knocked power off to our sister station's transmitter. Uh, we're sorry, but uh, PG&E cut the power in that area, saying it was necessary to uh, prevent their equipment from sparking a wildfire. And that is our Sister, sister, sister station KC24. Here we're still on the air on CBS 47, and we'll continue to bring you updates online here at yourcentralvalley.com. These shutoffs affecting areas from Oakhurst down to uh, near Shaver Lake, the Toll House area where that transmitter is, to near Fryant. And these power shutoffs will continue on into the morning hours of tomorrow because of the high wind event that is occurring tonight. We've heard people talk about historic wind events through California, and this is turning out to be one of them. We're talking 60 to 80 mile per hour wind gusts up to the north by the Kincaid Fire. All resources possible from CAL FIRE to uh, United States firefighting agencies working to help uh, prevent those fires from spotting more fires or crossing the 101. Locally, winds are not that breezy through much of our area, but you get north of Fresno along the uh, 168 and Highway 41 going up past Coarse Gold and uh, uh, Oakhurst, and it is downright gusty. Right now, Minaret's 25 mile per hour wind gusts. You saw wind gusts a few hours ago of 43 miles per hour. Still looking at gusts in the Aubrey area near 40 miles per hour. Kathy's Valley near 30 miles per hour. And these are expected to peak actually within the next hour and a half. So we put this forecast into motion. This is one of our computer models that's showing the possibility of 70 mile per hour wind gusts funneling through the valley. So the winds are actually made faster when they squeeze into the San Joaquin uh, River Gorge there, all the way through uh, uh, Fryant and down through the San Joaquin because those winds are going quickly downhill. They're warming as they encounter a higher pressure of lower elevations and that dries them out as well. So 70 mile per hour wind gusts are possible at times, but we're still looking at sustained winds somewhere between 35 and 45 miles per hour out of the east and northeast. And this is a very dry, hot wind. So you can see the darker colors there right where that uh, uh, river gorge comes through the Sierra and the foothills in between Oakhurst and Shaver Lake, so North Fork, Bass Lake. These are areas that are looking at some very serious wind right now, as well as, uh, uh, of course, very high in the Sierra, where you see those colors sustained on into tomorrow because of uh, those very strong winds, high pressure set up on the other side of the Sierra. It is bringing some cooler air there, Lake Tahoe down close to freezing right now. Here we are at 63 in Fresno. You can see the difference where that air has been moving in, quickly moving down to the south through mountain areas through the Great Basin where those blue colors are taking over. In mountain areas here, you do see some 30s there in the blue, 50s and 60s right now here on the valley floor, but it is dry all the way around. A dew point of 10 right now in Oakhurst. This is seriously dry, and that's why we are under that red flag warning here. Again, there are public safety power shutoffs in effect through portions of the state to the south in Kern County. You can see them there at the end of the valley once you start to get up into uh, Tehachapi, and also along California's coast through northern California through the Sierra, and these close to home within our viewing area affecting thousands of people here in the foothills and this power may not come on again until we're well into the day tomorrow. 
This again is affecting communities like Oakhurst and North Fork. We've got the power out in places as far south as Friant, as well as along the 168 through Aubury. Prather is covered here as well. So we'll continue to keep you updated here at yourcentralvalley.com. We've been live here at the bottom of every hour, so on the 30s uh, through each hour, and are expecting to continue to go through the rest of the night. And of course, here on Eyewitness News at 11 with the very latest, of course, because we have another wind event setting up for Tuesday and Wednesday. All the details on that then. We'll see you then.